build a house in The Sims 4 for every animal in the game. And now we're gonna try and take care of all of them. This is the house that I built and we have everything here. We've got horses, sheep, goats, chickens, llamas, cows, cats, and dogs, you name it, we have it here. And I wanna see how difficult it would be to take care of all these animals with only two Sims. These are the Sims that live here. This is Marissa Tracy and Danny Davila. They came with the Sims 4 horse ranch, but I did give them a quick makeover. I really wanted to see some of the cat stuff. They're not dating, but they're clearly in love. And they also have a really bad compatibility due to a huge falling out they had at some point. So good luck to them, I guess. Anyway, I want to give these animals all a really good life. Look at them. They're so adorable. So to do that, we're going to have a few goals here today. Goal number one is I want to get my horse trained and ready for the competitions and I want to win, obviously, which I actually think we just became friends and we just acquired the temperament skill. So we're off to a good start. Goal number two is I want all of my farm animals to be ready for the Finchwick Fair. And there's actually a Finchwick chicken fair happening at the end of the week. So I really want to be prepared for that. We have to do the chicken competition. We're going to do the egg competition. And number three, I obviously don't want any of them to get taken away or die. <laughs> they keep getting sprayed by skunks already. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we're going to have to take care of these dirty animals. We're going to give Pakun, our dog, a bath. So Danny's going to do that. And I think I'm going to get Marissa to come over here and feed all of the animals. We have a feeder back here. So we're going to fill that up. I'm going to fill all of the bowls. We're going to scatter some chicken feed nearby. And I think my cow and my llama might be okay. We have a full food supply here. And there we've refilled all of the food over here. So they should be okay. We've got eight meals there. We also need to check on all of our rodents. And I feel like this is going to be the hardest part, like taking care of them, which is important. If they're not kept happy, they can literally become deadly. So Danny is giving little Pakun a bath. How adorable is this? I love how the goats and sheep are just like roaming around in my house, in my bathroom. We're going to have to get used to that. I think I'm going to have Danny go and hang out with the horse for a little bit. <gasps> the horse is in my house. I didn't know they could just come in. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but like, does it? <laughs> okay, we're going to try and build our relationship with Epona here. And in order to do well in this competition, horses need to have all of their skills like higher up. They have to be in a happy mood. And the skills that horses have include temperament, agility, jumping, and endurance. So we're going to have to get all of those up. Plus Sims have like a riding skill, but it is getting a little bit late in my game. I think we're going to call it a night. We've got everything set up here. And in the morning, we're going to work on that riding skill. Oh, are they going to sleep together? Oh no, not Krusty taking the big bed, <laughs> leaving Pakun on his own over here. All right, it is 4 a.m. We are up early. We got some work to do, so let's get outside. And I think Danny is going to be our rider. I'm going to get them to maybe come and... <laughs> It scares me every time Epona ends up in my house. I'm going to get them to come down here and mount Epona. In the meantime, I need to make sure everything is clean. So Marissa will be in charge of taking care of the farm animals and they'll split the cleaning duties. Danny acquired the horse riding skill. Danny's newfound horse riding skill will grow as they ride horses. I don't want to get bucked into like my end table over here. Can we take this outside? <laughs> also, look at those little sheepies just sleeping under the stairs. I can't with them. Hey, we're on. I think we should maybe like go here. Oh, let's go practice some basic jumps. I have a feeling this won't go well. This is my first time and everything, but oh, Oh, we did it. Amazing. We acquired the jumping skill. I think we're doing pretty good so far. We haven't fallen. Oh no, our cow is dirty. We definitely need to clean our brown cow. Danny is definitely going to be helping here too, by the way. They are not getting off the hook. Maybe they can clean the cow. Krusty has defeated a wild squirrel in paw to paw combat. Krusty is just out here living his life. And I swear, Pakun, if you get sprayed again, stop barking at that bush. Oh, here come the little bouncing goats. I feel like the goats are kind of just like wildlife. <laughs> They're just happy to be bouncing around. And yeah, Epona is taking a nap. So Danny can definitely spend some time helping Marissa. One thing we really need to do is make sure these chickens are happy and they need food. We're going to feed them all. I'm going to scatter feed nearby just in case. And we can collect some eggs already. We're going to call the chickens to eat. And like... Do I talk to them? How do I get my relationship up? I think we have to socialize. Let's 
play with the black hen. We definitely need to play with the chick. And we need to make sure our <laughs> cats and dogs are okay. Yeah, this is a lot. There's a lot of um, things we need to do here. I need to like hire a nanny for my animals. <laughs> the llama needs cleaning over there. And our eggs are normal quality that we got today. We need perfect quality eggs to win that fair. Pagu, no, don't lick the puddle. Don't lick that, Pagoon. I think that might be from Epona. <gasps> Oh, my cat. Oh my God. That scared the crap out of me, Krusty. Don't do that ever again. All right, let's give riding Epona another go. She's in a really good mood. I think this time I want to go and work on the agility skill. Okay, let's go over to the barrels and we're gonna practice here. We hit a barrel, but I mean, not a bad start over here, I think. We're gonna be flying around these barrels eventually. <gasps> no, Baku, no, this is not for you. This is for the chicken. Stop. We're gonna have to lecture you about eating the trash, which is the chicken's food. And we're also training Pagoon to go potty outside because I don't think we're really quite understanding that yet. Oh, <laughs> oh no. No, the chicken's gonna step in it. Oh, that sucks. Everything seems to be looking good over there. I'm gonna let them do their thing. And in the meantime, Marissa is trying to get on these chickens good side. Oh no, look at Pagoon has trapped this hen. We've reached horse riding level two. We're doing great over here, honestly. And look at Krusty just like watching us. I feel like this is gonna be a really wholesome, just like cute little gameplay video today. I need to name my cow. What should I name my cow? I was definitely one of those people that thought chocolate milk came from brown cows. Wait, are we not getting along? Why doesn't the cow like me? She's sassy. Maybe I should name her. I think I'm literally going to name her sassy. I think we tried to go in for a hug. Maybe we just weren't quite there yet. Oh no, the home inspector is here. Uh oh, what do you want? Leave me and my animals alone. I think that's going to be enough riding for now. Is everything okay with Epona? <gasps> Why are they sad? Why do I already have a sad horse? Danny's sad too. And Pakun got sprayed by another skunk. Come on. Danny's got the horse training blues. Training horses is hard work. It doesn't always go as planned, but that's okay. And we have the added moodlet from shared sadness. Meanwhile, Marissa is still upset about whatever fight they had. I feel like I should try and resolve that. What is going on with these two? All right, this time Marissa is gonna give Pakun a bath. I feel like this is gonna be a daily occurrence. Wait, the sheep can help you with gardening? I didn't know they could help you with chores. Oh my gosh, you can bottle feed the sheep hold everything. If this won't cheer you up, I don't know what will. Oh my gosh, the tail. That is so freaking cute. Look at them. Come on, this would cheer anyone up. That is so adorable. <gasps> oh my goodness, that is a massive poop. I just assumed this would never happen. Marissa has learned about a normal quality horse manure. <sighs> We can use it for fertilizing. And we learned about a normal bottle of milk, which again, to win any of the fairs, we're gonna have to improve the quality of, but I think we can also feed them treats to help that out there. Okay, we're gonna have Danny clean the hooves of Epona. And I think Marissa, I think they're getting hungry. So let's maybe barbecue some, ooh, what should we make? This sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and make that. And they're still bitter about this fight. I'm gonna have to get them to address that. So Danny is trying to get the temperance skill up and now they're finally happy. Ooh, while Marissa prepared this delicious food here, let's go ahead and eat this. She definitely needs a shower, but I think she deserved to eat this delicious meal that she just made. Why would we choose to eat over here when there's a whole dining table right there? Do they not even want to eat together? They're eating in separate rooms. Yeah, we need to figure this out. We really need to address the situation here. I think I'm going to get Danny to clean up and we're going to have Marissa go take a bath or something. And then after that, the two who can hash it out. We also need to give some attention to our rodents because they're not having a good time either. I really hope they don't bite me. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't think they're that upset yet. So I think we should be okay. Oh my God, don't put it no. Don't put it next to your nose though. Ooh, no. Uh-oh. I think we're okay. Oh, the cat needs something too. Krusty, your litter box is out on the balcony. Wait, where did it go? There, now you have a litter box. Oh, he's smart. He knows where to go, maybe. <laughs> That stool has given him a hard time. There you go, Krusty. Do your thing. Oh, Krusty, bad. This is my fault. I should have cleaned this up, but I need to put this in the fridge. You can't have that meal. Okay, the animals seem to be all good for now. Let's get them to have this conversation. We could just come down and apologize. Epona is going 
through my walls. Oh, let's see if that would solve my problems here because I think Marissa is the one who is upset with Danny. I'm not really sure what happened between them, but I think Danny should just come apologize and get it over with. And let's see how this apology goes. She accepted it. I think we're okay now. Nope, still unresolved. <laughs> Lingering ill will after a fight doesn't just evaporate. This already seems a little toxic. I don't know if these two are gonna make it. Now they're flirty though. Oh my gosh, the hot and cold. I can't keep up. On second thought, maybe they're fine. But all right, in the meantime, these bowls are getting a little stinky. We're going to each take turns cleaning these out. And Epona and Danny are both in fairly good moods still. Even though it's late, I think we might still be able to fit in one more riding lesson. Oh, Epona is scared. Why? Uh-oh, this might not go well. Oh, what the? Where'd she go? What the heck? Oh, she's scared of spiders. Oh, well, who's he friend? Oh. I don't think she feels like riding. Every time I try, I just get like glitched off. Not even like kicked off, just like glitched. So we'll just have a cute little night talking to Epona, trying to calm her down. And then I think we're gonna go to sleep. The next morning. We're up bright and early again. I'm gonna take care of any rodents that need taken care of. Make sure our dog and cat are okay. And we really need to start focusing on these chickens. We only have a couple more days left before the fair. And I need their happiness to be way up, not fine. No, Rusty got bitten by a squirrel. Squirrels can cause an illness, so keep an eye on your furry friend. Oh no, I think we have to go to the vet. Oh, he definitely has a little illness. Okay, we're gonna have to put everything on pause. Oh no. Okay. Oh, he's definitely not doing good. Oh no, Christy. We're taking you to the vet right away in my pajamas and everything. Oh, just kidding. Oh, at least pick him up. In the meantime, Danny is gonna be on chicken duty. Okay, they're going to the vet. We're gonna have to travel all the way over to Brindleton Bay for this. Oh my gosh, the vet is wearing the Barbie hair. Lay. Okay, let's go check in. Sign in Krusty for curing sickness. Should I do the spay while I'm here? May as well, right? I mean, I'm here. Let the record show that I did click this, okay? <laughs> remember that. I absolutely love that she's got the Barbie hair. Okay, now we have to wait for the vet and we have to get Krusty examined. Come on, little Krusty, get inside. You're gonna be okay. Barbie vet will take care of you. She literally looks like vet Barbie. Okay, go on the little machine. What are we gonna do here, doc? If he's anything like my vet, he's gonna charge me like $3,000 just to like pet him, basically. We're going with the expensive treatment. Spare no expense and cure your pet with the best medicine possible. Oh, I think he's better now. What a good boy. He's going to straight for those treats. <laughs> Good job, Krusty. You definitely deserve all of the treats. Ask me how I have two female spade dogs, yet this still slipped past me. I was too worried about Krusty to even realize what was right in front of me. I hate when they get sick. It makes me so sad. You're getting a treat for sure. Aww. Praise, praise, all of the praise. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Cupcake. Okay, we're gonna actually pick up Krusty and take him home this time. I'm sure he doesn't like the rain either. All right, we're home now. We really need to be careful of these bushes. But okay, how is Danny doing with these chickens? This one is very happy, this white hen. I think I'm gonna name this one. Maybe we should just name it Happy so that when we go to the fair, we can possibly bring this one. This one, on the other hand, not happy. We need to feed you, play with you. Oh no, and the cows need cleaning. Sassy, no. The llama has just been chilling. Like the llama has been so easy to take care of. I'm going to name you Shaggy. <laughs> we have excellent quality eggs. We did not get that before. That's what we need. And also my random rodent is just getting me money from book royalties. <laughs> All right, I just got $500 from that. Almost covering my vet treatment for Krusty. <laughs> Maybe today we can do some jumping. Hopefully this time goes a little bit better than last time. I wanna get a good session in here too. Look at us hugging this little goat. Oh my gosh, this pack is just too cute. And then it bounces around because it's so happy about that. Epona reached agility level three. Oh, we are killing it today. I kind of want to get some jumps in. I'm pretty sure Epona is getting pretty tired, but I just want to do a couple jumps before we call it a day. And look at Pakun following us around. That's so cute. Pakun wants to be a horse. Oh, we need a ball. <gasps> Epona is feeling a bit bored. Consider placing a rubber ball. Oh my gosh, of course. Anything you want. Oh, I feel bad. Here you go. <laughs> How could I have not given you that in the first? please. Okay, you know what? Lesson is over for today. I actually really want to see Epona play with this. Oh, and you know what? This is a really good time to take care of our little llama over here. <gasps> I've never seen this happen in, in real life. Is this what they do? Is that correct? That doesn't look right. Is it? Oh, she's over it. <laughs> no, no, Pakun, abort, abort. Stop, lecture about eating poop. Oh no, it's gone. 
No, Pakun. Okay, we are probably gonna make some more dinner. I know we have leftovers in the fridge, but I think there's a lot of new like foods that we got that I wanna see made here. Let's try this one. We're gonna brush Epona's coat before we head in. Ooh, that looks so good. Okay, let's have our dinner. We're bottle feeding some of the sheep. Maybe they'll actually eat together this time. Oh, look at that, they are. Do we have any of the bad feelings still? We do. She's holding a grudge here. They seem to be having a good conversation though every time they talk i i don't know i can't figure these two out okay we're gonna have danny put away these leftovers this time all of our animals seem to be going to sleep oh my gosh this chicken wants to fight who are you fighting the days here honestly seem to fly by <laughs> i feel like this is what it would be like on an actual farm like there's no way these sims could have another job because all of my time is spent taking care of these animals and like making sure they're happy it has not been easy but it is actually really rewarding especially when like they are happy they're so cute who is this little doggy henry oh stop who are you look at those floppy ears pakun did you make a friend you were supposed to be taking a bath are we gonna have to adopt henry he just came to take a little nap right by my cow shed we'll see if he likes it here first if he sticks around for a little bit i will definitely be adopting you <laughs> we've got the room okay i think it's time for bed we got in some more jumping late at night here who is this mango <laughs> And Gacy? Oh my goodness. Are dogs gonna just start showing up here? I do have the dog hangout trait here, so I think they will. Make yourselves at home. We have more than enough beds and more than enough food. All right, we're up bright and early again. We are going to try and go for a ride. I haven't done this. Let's go for an energetic ride. I wonder if there's a horse trail we could go to. I'm sure there is. I think this is getting up the endurance skill too. There's actually another area like right beside my house that we could train at. Oh, but we're going off. Okay, let's see where we end up going. I feel like this is going to be fun. I'm coming up to this board here too. And I think this is where we can like buy a ranch hand. I can also enter the competitions here too. I don't know if we're ready for that yet though. Maybe we'll do it on the weekend. Maybe we'll take one more day, do a little bit of endurance training and enter tomorrow. I clearly need at least a little bit more practice, but I'm kind of curious about hiring the ranch hand. I'm going to get Marissa to come over here and see what that's all about. I also really want to go to the bar here. Maybe we can do that tonight. This world is so beautiful. I love the lighting and just like the color scheme of this whole world. It just has such a like peaceful vibe to it. And like I'm having fun with this pack. Farm games in general are really fun to me. So I'm not really surprised that I like this pack. Ooh, okay. All the top ranchers know. The bigger the ranch, the harder it is to run all by yourself. I do know that. Yes. You know what? Maybe we'll do it. They can act as like a ranch babysitter while we go out to the bar tonight. Thank you for contacting Buckaroo Brigade Ranch ranch services. They will work every day from seven to seven. Okay. So they should be showing up here soon. Let's head back. I don't want to miss them like showing up here. Hey there. <laughs> I'm your ranch hand. My name is Coustier. Nice to meet y'all. I'm good with animals, plants, and repairs. Let me know and I'll handle it. I like how he has like dirt on his like boots and jeans. <laughs> Actually, he's pretty dirty in general. To be honest, I don't really need you to help me with the gardening. I don't really think anything needs repairing, but if it does, I'm sure he could help. But I want him to mostly be concerned about the livestock and horse care. So I'm going to let him do that. Danny and Epona are just finishing up their ride and he's already started feeding the chickens. Okay, this might work out well. He's speedy. <laughs> he's running around all over the place. Oh, he's going to be Shaggy's new best friend for sure. Shaggy's in heaven. <laughs> Epona decided it's time for a nap. One of my chickens has grown up. I think I think all the chicks should probably start aging up soon if that's the case. Oh, this one had a birthday. Should I throw a birthday party for the chicken? I kind of want to. Marissa has been spending the day with Pakun a little bit. Because we have the rancher's help, we are able to hang out with Pakun a little more today. And clearly we need to focus on Krusty because he's been sprayed by a skunk again. But he's happy about it. Okay. Okay, we've had a really successful day of riding. I think we're gonna enter our first horse competition tomorrow. Danny just became good friends with Epona. Oh, these two, I'm so happy. Marissa has been having like the best day ever. She's so happy taking care of all the animals. It's probably been so nice having help. She's basically just been like socializing with them and like doing the fun parts while the ranch guy like takes care of everything else. Pakun has learned to pee outside. Good boy, Pakun. I mean, <laughs> didn't have to go very far, but good job. Look at them. Oh my gosh. Just 
being pampered on the couch. Wagun is also having the best day ever. All right, these two have had a very long day, a very successful day, but I think I'm gonna send them out to the bar. I haven't seen that lot yet here and I really wanna go. Our rancher is gonna take care of everything here and we're heading out. Okay, so we either have the nightclub, the rusty horseshoe or the oak barrel. I think I wanna go there. Why do we hate this kid so much? <laughs> Odd. All right, so here we are in like the downtown area. Over there is where the competition is going to be. We're gonna be heading there tomorrow, but let's go inside and see what's happening. Ooh, in this bar. Okay, so we walk in, we've got a couple tables happening here. The wine barrels all stacked against the wall. Over here, we have our bartender and like our main area. Oh, you can sit and watch TV over here too. Let's go over to the bartender and grab a drink together. What else is going on here? We have upstairs. Oh, it's like a loft style. Oh, this is cool. I would totally hang out here in real life. <laughs> Hopefully they can have a good night here together. Maybe we can go to the nightclub after because they both have to be in a good mood in order to win this competition tomorrow. I think what I'm going to do is have Danny enter the horse competition, obviously, and Marissa is going to enter the chicken competition. Keep it down, sir. They seem to be having a pretty good time. The famous guy over here is like adding a little bit of commotion. But in general, this seems to be going good. We've got good moodlets all around. They're happy. They just became good friends. Friends. <laughs> I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. Their relationship is skyrocketing, but can Marissa get past this grudge here? Okay, let's go check out this nightclub. I don't want to be out too late. We've got a big day tomorrow. We're going to go visit the rusty horseshoe. I think this is where we can do some like square dancing. We're doing it. Dance together. I have to. Okay, this is the nightclub. Dance floor right in the middle. We've got a bar over to the left. <laughs> we definitely can't keep up with this guy. He's a pro. He's definitely been here once or twice. I want to do cowpoke group dance. Is he going to join us? Oh, they're doing it. <laughs> this is so fun. I wish everyone was doing it, but this is still amazing. I've always wanted to go to an actual place that like does this, like the line dancing where everyone knows the dance. Sometimes it pops up on my TikTok and it literally looks so fun. Oh, this guy knows it. Yes. Go Brandt. Little off cue there, but it's fine. So after dancing a little bit more at the nightclub, I sent both of them home to get ready for tomorrow. I think I'm going to let Marissa sleep in a little bit, but Danny needs to get up and we need to make sure Epona is ready for the competition. We're going to brush her coat. We're going to clean her hooves. Everything is excellent. So if we can keep this up for the whole day, we're going to be golden. I also think all of the chicks have aged up. So now they're all like young adults. And I think we can enter at 7 a.m. So we're going to mount up and let's head over to the board. We're just going to do a gentle trot. We don't want to tire her out right away. Brew the house and everything. We're just going to have a little conversation here. We can't enter for another 10 minutes, but we are ready. <laughs> okay, let's enter the competition. I can only enter the beginner one for now. And this competition says this is going to be a long distance race that showcases stamina and discipline as horses compete for the fastest time. Uh-oh. It's a long road ahead, but your horse is up to the challenge. The recommended horse riding skill is three. I have level four. Recommended endurance is three. I have level five and jumping were pretty much on par. Let's do it. We go right away. I think we're going. All right, Marissa, hold down the fort. We're going for it. Why wouldn't we ride the horse there? I don't get to go. Are you kidding? Maybe we get to go eventually, but I'm so disappointed. I thought I was gonna be able to watch. <gasps> we got a silver medal though. We nearly made it to first, but second place is still an impressive accomplishment. We can now participate in the endurance racing intermediate. Okay, you know what? We got second place in our first competition. I'm not mad about it. We definitely have some more training to do, but I'm pretty proud of them. I think they did a really good job. I'm gonna let them adventure around this like main area here of the world. And in the meantime, I need to get these chickens to be in the best mood possible so they hopefully lay excellent eggs and then we can collect them in the morning and go to the fair. I'm gonna send Danny to Henford on Bagley to go shopping for some animal treats. We can hopefully get a better quality of egg from our chickens. I need animal treats, please. We've got veggie treats, healthy treats, fruity treats, flirty treats. I'm gonna stock up on fruity treats and let's do veggie treats. This one produces green eggs and I'm very intrigued about that. Okay, let's 
go and give the chickens our treat. And I'm gonna give this to the happiest chicken, which I think is this one here. Give treat. No, Pakun, you cannot have the treat. Please don't eat it. Oh my gosh. But hopefully now we're gonna have blue eggs in the morning. Okay, this one is also very happy. You're going to get a veggie treat. You can have the green eggs. Oh, and we need to display our trophy. This is going to go right outside here, right on display, our beautiful trophy. Christy's, wait a minute. Wait, um, when did that happen? I thought we got spayed at the clinic, but I guess not. Christy's gone into labor. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, do we need to go to the vet? I, like, yes, I would assume. Christy, I thought you were a boy. Are you going into labor in the bush? Nope, we just went to go get sprayed by a skunk. We had kittens. Uh-oh. I'm gonna name this one Skunk because Cresty really loves her skunks. How many are we gonna have? Oh God. Name this one Silver after Epona's first silver trophy. Okay, we've got more. We'll name this one Ranch like the dip, not the ranch that we live on. Gosh, please stop. Oh, phew. Oh, we're full. Oh no. I mean, they're all adorable, but like, okay. Like I said, we've got the beds for it. We need to come and pet the kitty. Good girl, Krusty, I guess. Oh my gosh, they're so cute though. We just became friends just like that. Well, this is definitely going to take up some of my time that I was gonna spend with my chickens. And look at all the animals living here. This is out of hand. Okay, all the chickens are going to bed. Hopefully we at least get one good quality egg for tomorrow and okay we're going to sleep okay 6 a.m let's go and collect our eggs see if we got anything good and we're gonna see which chicken is coming with us this one is very happy a lot of them actually seem very happy this morning okay let's see the quality here we have excellent quality okay they're not perfect but we also have multi-colored eggs i feel like i'm gonna try and enter one of the blue ones or maybe the orange ones so we're gonna keep those in our inventory and i gotta pick a chicken to go to the fair the Kittens are loving hanging out here with the chickens. They're just taking a nap over here. I wonder if they think they are chicken. I'm gonna continue just petting them here, playing with the chickens, getting their relationship up as much as possible before we enter that competition. This fair starts at 3.30 and it's almost time. I think I have the highest relationship with this black rooster right here. Did I bring a couple just in case? We're gonna put you in my inventory. You're coming with me. There we go. Where's Happy? You're gonna go in my inventory too. I think we should travel to Henford just like to make sure we make it in time. Danny's gonna come with us. I think we should all go together, watch our animals thrive. Ooh, okay, the fair has begun. So I'm gonna go submit my entry right here. We can submit, oh, which one? I think I'm gonna submit maybe the blue egg. I feel like that one's kind of cool. And then can I also submit a chicken over there? I think, should I enter happy? I know we had our highest relationship with this one. I didn't even give this one a name. Here, I'll name you. Your name is going to be winner. <laughs> Good luck. Is anyone else competing? It might just be me. I don't see anybody else. Who's the judge? Ooh, here you are. I feel like we should have a talk. Maybe it's the mayor? It's probably the mayor. Oh yeah, that's the judge over there. Okay, apparently you can like bribe the judge. She's currently judging winner. Am I gonna win by default? I don't wanna bribe her though because it can backfire. So I'm just gonna try and get on her good side. I don't really have much competition to worry about anyway. Here's so funny. You are so pretty. I love you being the mayor of this village. We're just gonna gas her up. I love your badge. And I'm also gonna scare away any other competitors. Molly over there, don't even think about it. She's judging winner again. He's perfect. What can you even say? Oh no. Oh no. Stay away. Get that chicken out of here. Oh no, more people are coming to enter. Should I like mess with the chicken? Should I be like, ask if evil chickens are coming? Maybe the chicken is like paranoid. None of you are even named, okay? You don't even have a shot against winner. Oh no, a green egg. Mine is of excellent quality though, so I think we're still okay. Ever since I downloaded The Sims 4 Horse Ranch, all of the townies have just been busting out into dance and I kind of love it. Everything seems so much happier here. Okay, I think the fair is almost over. We should be judging the chickens soon. Danny has just been sitting here minding their business, being such a good sport through all this, like just waiting for the results of the fair, which should be coming soon. We gotta like stop talking to this girl so we can figure that out. <gasps> I think we won! Finchwick Fair reward. We got a spicy treat, a chocolatey treat, a first place egg competition ribbon. What about our chicken? We also unlocked a recipe. Okay, yeah, our egg won first place. I don't think we won the chicken competition though, really. We got one flower and a participation chicken competition ribbon. I'm shocked. The chicken you entered had some bad cluck and didn't win. It was the happiest chicken there. Okay, but she's so stoked. We got one first place ribbon and a participation ribbon. But we also got some new like 
treats and ingredients. I don't think this was all bad. Plus we got like 525 simoleons from winning. So I think we're gonna end this here. This was really fun to get to know some of the animals in The Sims 4. We played around with The Sims 4 horse ranch. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay video. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.